Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Before I took my dog out and we just got back, I was trying to clear up a few more email. And I got one from one of you sisters. It took me to an old video, which I can't pull up. They're not letting me pull up my history all of a sudden. Why is that? Uh, it, anyway, it was about a 14-year-old girl that killed herself because Harold Camping set a date for the rapture, and it didn't, he was talking about, apparently, I didn't follow him. I knew a friend who did. She was devastated. That's why she won't believe any, any dates now because he set dates and didn't come to pass. I guess he did it twice, and I'm sure he had his reasons, like maybe he said God showed him this, that, and the other. I don't know. See, I don't know his story, why he had people believing. If I'm not mistaken, I think I remember someone saying he wrote a book even. I'm not sure. But he must have been also talking about how bad it was going to be for those left behind. Okay, so... So did the girl kill herself? She killed herself on that day. Why? I don't know. See, I don't have the facts, and... I was so disgusted and put off by the fact that somebody would send me that. Let me see if I can pull it up. Oh. Now it's working. No, I don't want subscriptions. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. This, I, what I wanted to say, I'm just going to say what I want to say. I know it's not on here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. A call to repentance. So you'll. No, I'm not even going to play it. Uh, what she is doing, it's a call to repentance to one of the originals that got the word. What she is doing is dangerous and very well could cost someone their life. This crap needs to end, and it needs to end now. Why is it that if you didn't get it personally yourself, you, you believe it's a lie? What she has come up with in this blood moon, te uh, the tetrad, and then the other three, and the other stuff in between, and has... The Lord has showed her that Jesus died at a certain time in the three Gospels, but yet he was still alive in the Gospel of John. I never picked up on that. Is there one person that could tell me they picked up on that and they knew about that and they didn't think anything of it and you didn't delve into it? School of Faith, the School of Faith. Okay, the person who killed herself, the teenager, if anybody's going to kill herself over it, let's say, not happening, it means you didn't want to go because you loved Jesus. You wanted to go to escape a bad lifestyle. You need to check your heart. Why do you want to go? Because if that's your attitude, you ain't going anyway. A whole lot of people that think they're going, and I don't care if 10, 15, 20, or 100 more unsubscribe me. I'm telling you right now, if your heart is not right, if you are not living a holy and righteous life and asking for forgiveness when you mess up, you know, a.k.a. sin, and you don't love God above all else, and you don't love your neighbor as yourself, that means all people, all human beings, 
You don't have to like them. You don't have to associate with them, but you better love them. And if they have a need and you can do something about it, you better do it. Because you you have like a scorecard. It's, it's a book. We all have a book in heaven. The Lord writes it down. The scriptures say, store up your treasures in heaven. Don't store up your treasures on earth where moths can eat them or rust can corrupt them. But store up your treasures in heaven. Okay, let me get back to the original subject. The rapture. Okay, why do you think you're going? Do you think you're going? If you do, if you say yes, I know I'm going. You better ask yourself, why do I think I'm going? Okay, check your heart. Make sure there be nothing evil in it. Make sure that you haven't failed to forgive somebody you've been mad at for years. Maybe you even kind of forgot about it. Ask the Lord to show you and to reveal anything that you... Well, I mean, when you ask for forgiveness for all your sins, they should all be covered. But... I don't know what your past includes that you might need to forgive somebody. I think that if you are living right, you've asked her forgiveness of all your sins, you love Jesus most, you love your neighbor as yourself, you're living according to his word, you're doing good wherever you can, you're not sinning when you could, you're you're doing right. You have to love Jesus most. Okay. But if you want to be, go in the rapture because you think your life is crappy, or doesn't have, you know, you're looking for a boyfriend or, or a... The thought of a 14-year-old girl killing herself because the rapture didn't happen or she thought from what I listened to also because the day of judgment was going to begin something tells me she was more worried about the judgment part so what did she do she just put herself in hell instead of living a a potentially rough time and worrying about oh if I'm not good enough then I mean I'm trying to put this into words how how we have to not be that way and I'm really struggling here The Lord told me there are two raptures. This first one is the bride of Christ and some others, as Jesus put it, and the babies and children under the age of accountability and the infirm. That would be adults that are not, cannot be held accountable for what they think. Okay. So, not everybody will make it. That little boy, he was about 10, a few months back, he had a dream. I wish I could pull it up and post it. He said he had a very vivid dream. He knew it was from God. His mom made the video. He said, I saw people being raptured. It wasn't that many, and I was standing there waiting to go, and Jesus came to me and said, Don't worry, I'll come back for you later. I can't get everybody right now. 
he was 10 or 12. He was of the age of accountability. And he was left. Why? Maybe he was more into video games than he was into God. But if he had love for God and Jesus and he was a good boy, he was obedient, he was going to get the grace and mercy if he gave his heart to the Lord. And he, to me, that dream said he, Jesus cared enough to let him know it could be an angel. In his dream, it was Jesus, but an angel might tell him, don't worry, you'll get to go the next time. I don't know how else to say it. But this saying that she's making this up and she needs to stop it and it's dangerous because one teenager took her own life because of Harold Camping. Teenagers, unfortunately, take their lives all the time. And it's because they're messed up. They're poked, they're made fun of at school. They're, uh, they think they're ugly. They lost their boyfriend. I know. I have a sibling who tried to kill herself because their, their boyfriend broke up with them. The guy's mom made him break up with her. She was 16. Teenagers are in a very volatile age anyway they could kill themselves over lots of reasons why should I deny that I got a word from father if it doesn't happen let me tell you something <laughs> someone better be explaining to me how I got a message in my thoughts from whatever I don't believe it because I know what I do for spiritual warfare every night to prevent that. So if there's some kind of technology out there, that voice to skull thing that can work on a Christian who does spiritual warfare, I'd like for somebody to tell me this is getting way too long. I need to go. I just don't believe it. I believe I heard from my father. And I believe that Christine and Crystal and Pearl have also. And for you people, the school of faith, and all of you that are like him, saying this crap needs to end, I say you take it to the Father and pray to him and ask him to show you. Because I'll bet he hasn't shown you to do a video like this. I would bet money on it. If I had it to bet. That's just, that's enough. I'm done. I'll talk to y'all later. I hope they see this.